morning, everybody. Hope everybody is having a blessed day today. Uh, on my way to work, as usual, sitting in the bridge traffic. Um, but it is what it is. Still find the positive in every negative. Um, I get a chance to kind of sit here and have this conversation with y'all. Um, so to get right into it, I'm sure half of my peoples um, were watching the NFL draft last night, as I do every single night. Um, no matter how many times I watch it, I still get excited every time it comes around. Um, and now, so just for disclaimer, I'm just going to say right off the bat, I am in no way, shape, or form an expert on the NFL draft. All right? I do not, couldn't imagine the amount of evaluation, the amount of work that goes into uh, investigating a young man's background and and uh, his physical abilities and watching the amount of film that these guys watch on a daily basis because believe me they watch a ton of film on these gentlemen um, and they do check their backgrounds extensively so with all that being said i am not an expert i'm just going off my opinions and my opinions alone based off the knowledge that i have as a football person so with that being said i'm not going to talk about the whole draft um as it is as it stands right now i think the first couple rounds happened last night um but I'm going to talk about the Cleveland Browns, who have picks one and four. Now, as everybody knows, the Cleveland Browns haven't had the best track record with uh, first overall picks. Um, they were 0-12 last year, uh, which gave them the first round pick. Uh, they also, through some finagling of their own, had a fourth pick, overall pick in the NFL draft, which is amazing, which is uh, doesn't happen very often that you have two picks in the top five which means you're gonna 100 get two premium players now the cleveland browns being who they are decided that they wanted to pick a qb that in my opinion in my opinion alone could have gotten in, in a later in, in later in the first round so what they did do is for the first pick they picked baker mayfield all right. Now, again, I can only assume because I'm not in the war rooms with any of these teams. Um, so I don't know how they had these people picked. I can only go by, again, my own knowledge and what I've looked at and what I've researched my own self. They picked Baker Mayfield number one overall. Now, I truly, truly believe that that was all. Uh, I can't say it's an awful pick. But I don't. I think they could have gotten better. Okay, in my opinion, all right. I think they could have gotten Saquon Barkley, who is by far the best overall player in NFL draft hands down. In my opinion, all right. They could have gotten Saquon Barkley at the number one pick, and still, in my opinion, gotten um, Baker Mayfield at the number four pick. Still, in fact, I think they could have traded down and got Baker Mayfield um, at like the five and six pick, whatever the case may be. But if that's your guy, that's your guy. You take him at the fourth pick. I honestly just think it's a bad, bad, bad situation. Now, granted, they said they went out and got the number one, the best corner in, in the in the draft, and that's what they needed was a corner. But, and that's a big but, you have the opportunity to pick a game-changing player in Saquon Barkley, right? Players like Saquon Barkley only come along once in a while, once in a blue moon. Saquon Barkley is what they like to call a freak of nature, like this guy and or like this guy, okay? Saquon Barkley is a freak of nature. He is a game-changer. He is what I like to call instant offense, and we all know in today's game in the NFL, it's a high-scoring game now. It's not all about defenses. It pays to have a good defense, and it helps to have a good defense. But at the end of the day, it's all about scoring points. It's all about having versatile, athletic, skill position players. And again, Saquon Barkley is one of the most unique people I've ever seen seen play the game. The guy cuts on the cuts on the dime. The guy runs a 4440 at 233 pounds. 
The guy has a low, is six foot tall and runs with a low center of gravity, right? Instead, you take now I'm not. Instead, you take a guy who is six feet tall, who I believe is a project quarterback. Now I like his attitude. Everybody says I like the way he he is on. The, he's a leader on the field. He has a great attitude. He has a lot of fight in him. He's a he's a little a little dog with big bark. But at the end of the day, he's a six foot tall quarterback. And you're talking about having to throw, having to pick lanes to throw through when you got six foot six, six foot seven offensive linemen. So his best attribute is probably getting out of the pocket and throwing the ball, which is okay. But again, you got yourself Saquon Barkley, and then you have this six foot tall quarterback in Baker Mayfield. I just don't think that. The, I, I think you take him later on. I think you take Saquon first. I truly believe Baker Mayfield's going to be there. I believe it. And even if he's not, you still got the two other guys to pick for it. And Darnold and, and, and Rosen. I just think it was a bad pick. I think it was a bad order in which they picked. Because again, you take you take Saquon first, and if you and if and if you know and if uh, Bar- Baker Baker Mayfield is your guy, you take Baker Mayfield with the fourth pick, but you guarantee Saquon. No, and I'm pretty sure nobody, none of those other teams are going to take Baker Mayfield. I'm pretty sure of that. I, I'd bet that. If I had a chance to look at their draft boards, I'm pretty sure that Baker Mayfield was not above those other two guys. But again, only time will tell, and we shall see how, how this works out for the Browns. Now, if it works out well and Baker Mayfield turns out to be great, then I stand corrected. But again, it's very rare that you see six-foot quarterbacks have a have longevity in the NFL. Just saying. Just saying. But again, it's only my opinion. It's only my opinion. So with all that being said, uh, we shall see how it all works out. So again, please like, share, subscribe. If you can't subscribe, at least like it. Um, you know, to support me. Um trying to do something different again y'all have a blessed day enjoy this rainy day as best you can um i know it's supposed to be like 70 something degrees tomorrow um and again y'all have a blessed day and i thank y'all for watching